Hi, so welcome everyone. Today um, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I've, uh, I've become so excited about doing urban sketching now and uh, doing illustrating and some watercolors in it. And um, I put together a bag after watching a ton of videos. And um, I've already used it once. I've done my first urban sketch in a little coffee shop here in town. And um, it works out really, really well. There's, uh, I have everything I need in it. Um, it's just a, a, a bag I found somewhere at, um, I don't know if it, uh, some kind of um, uh, secondhand store and or vintage shop or something. Anyways, um, it sat doing nothing for the longest time and it turned out being perfect. So um, I'm just going to take you through what I have in it. And then in a future video, I'll take you along with me uh, to, on my one, one of my little urban sketch outings. So, um, okay, so here we go. So this is the bag. I don't want to get in the video. So this is the bag. It's got a long handle, which is awesome. I just swing it over my shoulder with my other purse. And um, it has a zip pocket on this side. It has another zip pocket on this side. And it's kind of uh, quilted, so it's heavy duty. Um, it's got two little side pockets. And on this side pocket, I have a jar of water, which is perfect. I'm, I'm trying to look for smaller, uh, wide mouth uh, jars, because I want two, like a clean water and a dirty water one. But anyway, that does fine for now. You just have to really uh, blot your paintbrush on the napkin before you dunk it in. And you're okay. And then on this side, I have uh, my squirt bottle that I squirt to refresh my watercolor paints. And this um, this is a Davin, uh, Jane Davenport uh, water brush. And I'm not. I, it's not bad, but I found that uh, using water brushes. I'm used to using regular brushes, but using these, you can't really control the water flow. And I find that um, my other colors get contaminated a lot. And uh, I just I just find it hard to use. Maybe I have to practice more with it, but I find there's always too much water coming out for me anyway. Um, so in this pocket, I have a little pencil case, and it has basically just miscellaneous items. Um, some clips. This is a Blick uh, pencil sharpener, which is awesome. Love that. Nice and portable. My eraser, Stadler uh, eraser that you just click, click, click and it goes up. So I love that eraser. It's nice and white and clean and doesn't leave a lot of debris behind. Okay, so now in the main pocket, what I have is I, I found this. I had ordered something from Sears a long time ago. I don't know why I still had this. But anyways, so this I just put my, my little regular paint brushes in. And normally I like to keep a four and, um, what's this one, an eight. So I can pretty much do most things with a four and eight. I haven't been able to bring myself to put my, my good quill brush in here. But I will have to get one for traveling because I use the quill brushes. I love them. So I had to put an elastic on here so that when I put the, the top on, it didn't crush the tops of my paintbrushes. So that's really handy. Um, so I bring two different uh, travel paints, the Koi watercolors. I love the Koi watercolors. The travel, it, it, they're, they're wonderful, wonderful covers. And I just put a cut a piece of cleaning sponge in here to sponge the water paint off. This just seems to be quick and easy. And um, I also bring my, I brought my, well, sounds like I'd, I've done it for a long time. I haven't, but this is what's in here. I have this uh, palette, my Jane Davenport, one of my Jane Davenports. But what I've done is, this is my little swatch card. But I've added my, I have, I've just bought five Daniel Smith watercolors. And I've just added these little half pans in the middle so that I can bring them along with me. And uh, the pan's gray especially because there's not really any gray black in, in this palette. And I, I, I mixed them up in this palette. It's 
from different uh, Jane Davenport palettes. So I just put my favorites in one. So I, that's my two paints I have. Then I have um, just this clear pencil case that I keep my uh, fine liners, the pencil I like to use, um, mechanical pencil. I have in here a um, fountain pen I love using. I love this fountain pen, the Zebra fountain pen. It is amazing. If you haven't tried a Zebra fountain pen, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, it, it's it's a throwaway. You don't refill the ink, but they're they're not that expensive. They last for a long time, and it's the best fountain pen I've ever used. It doesn't skip. It it's always a smooth, smooth uh, line that comes out. So just a few things, and I do have a. Oh, I should put this in the other one. This is Princeton Twelve. It's nice to have a little bit of a mop style, but again, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put one of my quills in there. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long. So um, in this pouch here, I keep a bunch of uh, napkins and I've cut them all down to size just so I can take what I need and I always have lots. And this one, oh, I need more, but I just um, cut little wee squares of uh, spare watercolor paper so that when you're painting, you can just test your color on here first before you actually lay it onto your illustration, which is very handy. And we're almost done. You don't need a lot of stuff. Then this is just an extra uh, watercolor booklet I have. I'm going to use it for, I'm doing the 30, 30 days challenge. I can't, oh gosh. I'll post it down below. But, um, so that's one. A sketchbook slash, uh, it's like a mixed media paper, the one I just showed you. And this here is the watercolor one that I've been using. So um, I le always leave the first page blank. There it is, my very first one. I, I kind of goofed on his face, but anyways, I just have a few in here. And uh, these aren't on location ones, but what I like to do is I keep um, a piece of wax paper so that when I'm finished my painting, it's usually pretty dry, but this just, I put this on top just to protect the flip shot side of the paper because when I'm done going this way, I'm going to come back this way, or some might be doubled, but it's just to save the other side and it's really seemed to help. And um, I'm not even sure what kind of, uh, I ordered this one online. Just a watercolor uh, pal, uh, uh, journal. So, and that's pretty much what's in here. They have two, four pockets on the inside. I've just got my. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get another watercolor book. I, I'm thinking this is uh, Artist Loft. So this is from Michaels, and it seems pretty thin. It's almost like it's more of a sketchbook, which might be handy to have in here. So time will tell. Once I've used it a few times and I can adjust what I need. And um, so that's what's in my bag. Share what's in your bag for your, your if you go out and travel and do on location uh, sketching and illustrating. It'd be great to see it. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.